Welcome to Foolish Portals. We're here at Throwback Night for their 1950s and 60s night. It's a special ticket event with lots of food, character meet and greets, photo drops, a big band playing. There's even a fireworks show. There's so much to see. I just can't wait. Let's go have some fun. The night is already starting off on a good note. Check out how empty Main Street is. I love coming to these after hour events because it's less crowded, but this event in particular is super empty. But for now, let's go to the front of the park because I wanna see Mickey and Minnie and the photo op with Walt. And hopefully we can squeeze in a picture at the Disneyland marquee. I can't get over this backdrop. I love the like Chevy Bel Air. I love the big Disneyland marquee that looks like the original one that was at the park. I mean, this was really cool. I'm glad we took this picture. I'm feeling really snacky and I heard that there's a plant-based Sloppy Joe fries over at the Hungry Bear, so let's head over there. So up first we have the Sloppy Joe fries. This is all plant-based. It has a bed of crinkle cut fries, a thousand, what looks like a thousand island dressing, and sloppy joe meat and pepperoncinis. Let's take a bite. Cheers. I feel like you would find this like in a diner. It's really good. It's hamburger meat. I can definitely see like a, like a nacho cheese. And then it has like a thousand island dressing. My mouth is watering, it's quite tasty. <laughs> it's very indulgent, it's very carb heavy, and uh, you know, I like, this is my, my kind of thing. It's a nice, savory dish, the meat is on the sweet side, you have the Thousand Island dressing that gives it a little sweet and tartness, and then the pepperoncinis give it like maybe a one in spice. Honestly, I would even say a zero, but if you're really afraid of pepperoncinis, then let's give it a one. But yeah, it's really good, and I'm glad that this uh, After Hours event has a plant-based item, because there have been times where we're left out, so thank you, Disney, appreciate it. I heard there's a lot of dancing over at the Royal Theater, so let's go check out what the big band and the dancers have in store for us. characters here. Definitely want to come by Rapunzel's statue. Going here to do it? 
Oh, sure. Oh, let's it, pick it, it, everybody. Oh my god, there's a little Pinocchio. Looks like we only have two volunteers of dancers. Oh, I know there's more talent in here. Wow. Gideon, can you explain why there's so many donkeys floating around in the city? How well can you go? <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. <laughs> Dancing, okay, alright. Okay. Thanks, Gideon. <laughs> Don't let Gideon fool you. Good evening, everyone. We hope you're enjoying Throwback Night here in Disneyland Park. At this time, we invite you to travel back in time to 1957 and cast your eyes to the skies for a special presentation of our Fantasy in the Sky fireworks display. Thank you. in comparison to what we get to experience now in the 2020s. So, yeah, it was great. There was a lot of horns. It felt patriotic at some moments. And my favorite part was when there was a gigantic Mickey hovering above the castle. It was absolutely gorgeous. And, yeah, I loved it. It was very brief, five minutes long, but worth, worth stopping to check it out. Look, it's the hippo from Fantasia. Oh, my God, she's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and the mice from Cinderella. No, there goes Gideon. But let's cross over into Tomorrowland because there's some really cool photo opportunities like Adventure Through Inner Space, which, funny story, they put this photo op just a few feet away from its original location, which is where the Star Tours ride is. This was the first Disney attraction to use the Omnimover system, which they're still using it to this day. So if you want to check it out, go to Haunted Mansion. And of course we had to take a picture at the People Mover photo op. I think they should keep this up all year round because people really want this ride to come back and this would be a good temporary solution. We have the mother and father from the Carousel of Progress. Very cool. Well, that's a wrap on this Foolish Portal. Sadly, the time has come for us to say goodnight because the portal is now closed. Thank you so much for coming along with me to my first throwback night. I wish Kyle could have joined me, but I'm really glad that my best friend came along. We had a really good time. We saw fireworks, ate food, took lots of pictures, and saw a bunch of characters that we usually don't see. So overall, a really great time here at Throwback Night. Thank you so much for coming along, and if you want to come on to the next one, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this Foolish Portal, please hit like. Thank you so much, and hurry back. Yeah.